Good evening, everyone. We'll call the public hearing and regular council meeting of Tuesday, December the 12th, 2017, to order. At this time, I would invite council, if anyone wishes to participate, to join the invocation, followed by Pledge of Allegiance. Good evening. change the order of our presentations if I may because we have to get someone um, in and out. Uh, the chief um, has an announcement about a retirement that you need to make. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We have one of our own getting ready to retire, which he's already retired. He's one of our K-9 units, uh, EDAR. He's been with us uh, with the department for eight years. And he's done a wonderful job. We're very proud of him. You can see him go. He's ready to keep going to work. But he's, he's, he's like me. He's at that age where he needs to get it up a little bit. If you were read off to him and let him know what's going on. Um, with great honor and recognition for your loyal and dedicated service to the Hartford Police Department, we recognize you, K9 ER. Your service date September 2009 to December 2007. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Made some people nervous there, Chief, when I said retirement. You got up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, we are going to move into item A on the agenda: the certification of 2017 runoff election results. Madam Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, as reported by the director of the Darlington County Election Administration, which is Mr. Hart Campbell. The following November 21st, 2017, official certified runoff election results are Council District 1 votes cast for Adam McGrain 47 for Trey Gamage 69. And in that the legal time has expired, we had no protest. Mr. Gamage is declared the winner for District 1. Mr. Gamage, congratulations. It is now time to swear you in. Um, do you have any family here that is with you this evening? I do. I've got my father and uncle and aunt and cousin. Now, this is the judge. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure our legal counsel is on the side. <laughs> Would you please invite them up? We'd love to begin the ceremony. Martin, you're going to swear them in? I will. Alright, place your left hand on the Bible and raise your right hand. 
I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear that I'm duly qualified, that I'm duly qualified according to the constitution of this state, according to the constitution of this state, to exercise the duties of the office, to exercise the duties of the office to which I've been elected, to which I've been elected, and that I will, and that I will, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, discharge the duties thereof. Discharge the duties thereof. And preserve, protect, and defend. And preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution of this state and of the United States. The Constitution of this state and the United States. So help me God. So help me God. As council member of the of the municipality of Hartsville. As council member of the municipality of Hartsville. I will equally, fairly, and impartially. I will equally, fairly, and impartially, to the best of my ability and skill, to the best of my ability and skill, exercise the trust reposed in me, exercise the trust reposed in me, and I will use my best endeavors, and I will use my best endeavors, to preserve the peace, to preserve the peace, and carry into the, into effect, and carry into effect, according to the law, according to the law, the purposes for which I've been elected, the purposes for which I've been elected. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Your family while you're here? Uh, yeah, they, um, <laughs> this is my family. I didn't, I wasn't sure who I was going to be able to make it down. Um, I'm not from here, I'm from Indiana. So my dad called me on um, well, probably three, four days ago and told me that he was able to get a flight and um, stay with my aunt Cheryl and my uncle Paxton and my cousin Paisa who live in Charlotte. So they were all able to make it down here. She texted aunt Cheryl a couple of weeks ago and she said, of course, she was going to make it. So that definitely means a lot for my family to be here and to get to see. Um, what kind of difference that we're making as a community here in Hartsville. Um, they're a long way from home, but they know I'm safe here and have a community that's uh, proud to be here and serve everybody. So thank y'all for coming. I appreciate it. Okay, so Madam Clerk, in the order of the chair that Councilwoman Adelina Graham's tag be removed and retired, and it is also the order of the chair that our freshman member has now <laughs> earned the right to move seats. And we would welcome our new freshman member to come and sit beside the chair. I promise I will not harass you. Like <laughs> 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 I'm going to have to wear some gift clothes. I'm going to tell you, if I get out of hand, she kicks me. <laughs> <pictures. laughs> <laughs> it is some big shoes to fill. <laughs> I'm going to move your jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that you would like to say before we uh, begin? I think it's important, first off, to give reverence and honor to God. Um, you know, all of my faith is in Him, and, and none of this would be possible without God being here. Um, of course, my family for making it down here, and my five siblings, and my mother, and the rest of my cousins that couldn't make it down here as well. Um, and then Adelina Graham, she served this community for 24 years. Um, she's been serving as long as I've been alive. And she's, she's literally, as long as I've been alive, she was elected in 93 and I was born in 93. Um, and she, she held her hand out for me and then showed me the ropes. She gave me an hour long tour of District 1. Um, I think our average speed was about nine miles an hour. And, and it was because we stopped at every building that was dilapidated and she knew the last person that lived there or she knew that they passed away or she knew something about every member of that community. So it took a really long time for us to get through. So we, she invited me to church. Um, we spoke again at Jerusalem at a breakfast the other weekend. So I'm just thankful for all the support that's been in the community, both from the incumbent who was a challenger and a fierce competitor, mm -hmm. having won six times, um, being undefeated. Um, and it's, it's a privilege, and it's a humbling privilege to be able to sit in the seat up here after a woman like that. So, thank you to everybody. Well, welcome. Uh, we're glad to have you. I can tell you that we've never been um, more proud of the fact that you honored and respected your opponent in the way that you did, and that, to Mrs. Graham's credit, that she escorted you around her district to introduce you to her constituents, of which she was trying to earn their vote for a, a seventh time, um, you you were a class act and you did it every step of the way. So um, I think it would also be a wonderful time to 
invite everyone. We're going to have a celebration honoring uh, what is our, our longest serving council member um, right, now. right now. Still got hopes for John. <laughs> <laughs> Not hopes that you're the longest that you're doing. Um, so uh, that, uh, Madam Clerk, will you give us the details so we can invite everyone? Sure, everyone's invited on Thursday, the 21st, from 5 to 7. We're having a reception for Ms. Graham at the Pavilion at Long Park. So everyone's invited. I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. And um, she's not able to be with us tonight. She's um, not feeling well not to come, but um, she promised me she'd be there on the 21st. Yeah, she, um, she's, um, bless her heart, she had a tumble and um, has not recovered from that. So certainly keep her in our prayers and hope that you'll come. And if you'd like to do something special for her, the list is growing. Um, so please, please feel free. She has certainly earned it, um, certainly earned it with her tenure. And we've got some things from council uh, that we want to do to kind of honor her as well. She had a tremendous passion for dilapidated housing um, and a tremendous passion for the cemetery. So we're going to work on some really neat things. Um, so welcome. Good to have you. Madam. The reason I asked you was the nine miles an hour riding or walking because she can walk actually about 12 to 15. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I've seen it too. I've seen it too. Don't make no mistake about that. She's not, not slow at all. I campaigned with Miss um, Adeline and walked door to door in her district the very first time I ran. <clears throat> and I thought at first like she was getting to be old because she would knock on the door and some kid would answer and she'd just go rolling through the house asking where their mother was or, or, or you know, one of the relatives there. And at first I thought that she was just kind of getting old and like didn't hear the kid and just was going in. And then I realized that was all strategy. She knew not to waste her time with the kid, but he was going to say, Mom's not here or whatever. And she just said, oh, how you didn't just walk right past me. <laughs> <laughs> Mom and got what she needed. She was a fierce kid. <laughs> okay, so um, we will move on. Uh, item D on the agenda, uh, the American Cancer Society Certificate of Appreciation. Do we? Yes, ma'am. Please come yes. forward. I am here, uh, City Council and Mayor. My name is China Watson. I am the Community Manager for the American Cancer Society. And um, my responsibility is to manage the volunteers who plan, organize, and implement Relay for Life, which has been going on in Darlington County for 24 years. The next year will be 24 years. Um, so, the city has been allowing us to have the venue for free and the stage, and that's a huge um, donation for us because that gives us money that we can put towards our programs and services. Sure. So on behalf of the American Cancer Society, my senior manager, I, Ivan Schwartz, and all the volunteers who put the event together, I present a certificate to the city of Hartsville. <coughs> And thank you for allowing us and being, being a supporter for you. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate the fact that you came back. Yes. So we yes. appreciate that. I appreciate you inviting me to come yes, back. Yes, uh, What yes, I would sir. like to see is... You, uh, you hold that and smile because they want to picture you, not me, <laughs> for sure. All right. What I would like to see is um, um, the city of Parksville to consider having a Relay for Life team. Yeah. I know since I've been community manager for the past four years, the city has not had a team. And I know you attend to have a team. Well, so we just haven't gotten around to Some of us have been participating individually. Um, my wife's been a uh, survivor now for um, going on four years. Four years, I believe. Um, and I, I used to take my girls out there. And I was accused of going because of the food. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, That's a good reason. It was such a neat event. Um, yeah. And I want to say it was the first year that was at Firely Park. Um, such a good effect. But yeah, we will we will work towards getting a team. So uh, in 2018 is May 5th. Yeah, the visa It's May 5th from um, noon until 10 p.m. Yeah. And we also have we started having a cancer survivors brunch. Yeah. We haven't decided on that date yet, but when we do, we'll, we'll uh, make sure you know that. The captain on my fire team um, is a cancer survivor. And he used to 
um, back when it was 24 hours, he would lead his team, and he was, um, was an amazing guy. So we found that um, some team captains that stopped, some teams that stopped. The cancer hasn't stopped. No. Mm -hmm. Still. Well, thank you. So she came last uh, two, a couple weeks back, and just happened in the office midday, and I said, "You got to come back and get your picture in the paper." I appreciate it. So thank you for thank coming you. back. I guess I should give this to you, Madam Clerk. Thank you. Okay. Um, item F on the agenda, recognition of new hires and promotions. Nobody, we good? Okay. Um, we will move into the management update. Nothing at this time. <laughs> Assistant Manager, it's very nice to see you. Nothing at all? Okay. Manager. For the City Manager, who has landed in Columbia, we are now all safe. <laughs> so, um, items on the consent agenda will be received as information only, without objection, they stand approved. And we'll move into unfinished business. Uh, public hearing and final reading of Ordinance 4314, I'll ask the Clerk, if she will publish the ordinance, or did you prefer to, Madam? I prefer. She's got a great report. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Madam Clerk. Public hearing and final reading of Ordinance 4314, an ordinance amending and restating certain provisions of Chapter 58, Article 4 of the Code of Ordinances of the City of Hartsville, South Carolina, to permit the consumption of alcoholic beverages in public spaces within a defined area and other matters related thereto. Okay, you've heard the reading by title and presentation by the reading clerk. This time the chair will open the public hearing. If you'd like to be heard on Ordinance 4314, if you rise, state your name and address for the record, come to the front, and please limit your comments to two minutes or less. Hearing that there are enough no, no, just <laughs> I'll make it quick. Please state your name and address for the record. My name is Casey Hancock, and I live at 119 North Fifth Street, Apartment B. Um, here in Hartsville, which is just just over there. This is a um, a really exciting opportunity. I, I live downtown. I really enjoy it. I spend a lot of my time eating and entertaining myself downtown. And in doing that, I, I people watch a lot. And it's always been it's been really fun over the last few years for me to see the growth in downtown Hartsville and the um, the growth in the number of people and the diversity of people that are walking around and enjoying themselves. Um, and what I've called that is like downtown Hartsville is becoming a destination where you can have a night out downtown. Somebody says, what are we going to do tonight? Well, let's go to downtown. And as our food and beverage, op beverage options grow, that has become more and more of a reality. And I think that's really exciting and I enjoy it. I love when our parking lots are full. That's a great thing, for, in, in my opinion. And I see this as an awesome opportunity to really jump out in front in um, terms of forward thinking and being progressive and you know, none of our, our municipal competitors are doing this right now. And I just think that's awesome. It really helps create that, that sort of environment to have a good time. Um, and from a personal freedom standpoint, you know, you're given a responsible adult the right to make a decision and having, you know, being responsible. And if they're trying to act up, I, I don't doubt that it'll be the last time they do it. You know, that, that's never been a problem. You know, it's a concern with something like this. But anyway. That's, uh, I've said enough. Um, I hope that you'll support this ordinance. I think it's a great opportunity for Hartsville in really creating um, an environment in downtown that people want to be in and want to enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there anybody? <coughs> Hello, I'm Shelly Wilson. I live at 1123 Pine Lake Drive. I work at Coker College and I'd like to support my. Um, to express my support of this ordinance. My role as the director of alumni engagement involves planning events where our alumni come back to visit. Each February for homecoming, we organize a downtown bar crawl that is very popular. This ordinance would allow our alums to move freely about the area supporting multiple businesses. We promote all the hotels within walking distance of campus and support the bars and restaurants downtown. This ordinance would make a great impression and promote a safe, legal way to enjoy and experience all that Hartsville has to offer. In addition, I previously worked at Sunoco for five years as a corporate recruiter. I loved explaining to 
the perspective <coughs> employs how unique and progressive Hartsville is for a small rural town. Allowing open containers within a specified area of this ordinance would truly be an impressive change that would set Hartsville apart and be another example of the creativity and progressiveness of Hartsville's leaders. I urge you to vote for this ordinance. Thank you, ma'am. Is there anyone else that would like to be heard on the Hearing that there are none, Chair, we close the public hearing and entertain any motions for the Mr. Mayor, make a motion we pass on this 4314. Second. There's a motion and a second. Um, is there any discussion? Mayor. Madam. Uh, from my understanding, last meeting, uh, other areas of town would be able to, uh, if they had a special permit, yes, be able to have the same group. Correct. Okay. Any, yes. Anything further? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed by nay. Nay. Um, we'll call for offer a show of hands. Um, you will again vote the ayes and the nays. Madam Clerk, the ordinance has passed. I just want to make reference to uh, Mr. Hancock. Uh, appreciate you coming and just want to make sure that you realize that doesn't let you carry beer from your apartment <laughs> to the <laughs> Well, then you well, I'll be back to propose a change. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? Bless you. Um, all right, so we'll move on. Thank you both for coming and taking the time to speak, by the way. Not enough people uh, do that and exercise that right. So, moving into uh, new business, uh, resolution 12 17 01. The moment of the evening that you've all been waiting for an election of the mayor. Pro tip. Is there a motion for the resolution? Yes. We're going to stand um, at recess for five minutes so we can say goodbye because I'm not going to get there. Thank you.
session. All right, um, resolution 12 1701. We have a motion and a second. Is that correct? We have a motion and a second. And um, no, that actually Bob beat you too. But you just, you, next thing is yours. <laughs> I thought Johnny was going to let you, you know, make the motion, but before Johnny just re rolled all over that. It's, it's election night. You know, so it's big. So, um, is there any, are there any proposed proposals or nominations from the floor? Mr. Mayor, I'd like to nominate Council Member Johnny Andrews as your mayor. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> are there any other nominations from the floor? Gosh. Boxing me in the corner, aren't you? Well, the nominations um, have come to a close, and right now we will have a vote all in favor of Councilman Johnny Andrews serving another term as our mayor pro tem. Signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by nay. Let the record reflect that the mayor pro tem, Johnny Andrews, has been un unanimously elected by his peers again. And I'd like to thank uh, Council for the compliments and uh, work here today with us. Well, all, so all jokes aside, um, Donnie, jo Donnie. Johnny um, does a phenomenal job of filling in um, for the city a lot of times when all of us can't. So thank you for doing that. We've never been happier that you're retired. So we can put you in more things now. All right, so congratulations, sir. Um, item eight on the agenda, resolution 12-17-02, approval of a bid award for a 12 lead ECG monitor defib defibrillator for the Hartsville Fire Department. Is there a motion on the resolution? Is there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Hearing it all in favor, signify by saying aye. Opposed by nay. Resolution carries. First reading of ordinance 4317, the clerk will publish. An ordinance amending and restating certain provisions of chapter 2, article 2 of the Code of Ordinances of the City of Hartsville, South Carolina to clarify provisions regarding the swearing in of elected officials of the city and other matters related thereto. You've heard the reading by title and presentation uh, by the clerk. This time the chair will entertain any motions from the floor for approval of the first reading and waiving of the complete reading. Mostly. <laughs> so moved. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? For the clarity of the audience. Yes, ma'am. 
this will move a, a person that won elections to be sworn in the next month after the election. That's correct. Okay. Yes, ma'am. That's my understanding. That's correct. Okay. Because runoff and yes. the period of lame, lame duckness, I guess. Right. Okay. Um, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by nay. First reading of Ordinance 4317 passes. Item 10 on the agenda. First reading of Ordinance 4318. If the, if the clerk will publish. To authorize the purchase of land at tax map parcel number 0560701065, located at 316 Reservoir Street, consisting of 0.083 acres, plus or minus from Hayward Gaming. Okay, you've heard the reading by title and presentation of the clerk. This time, the chair will entertain any motions to adopt. Mr. Mayor, make a motion to pass ordinance 4318. There's a motion. Is there a second? Second. Here, um, any discussion? Yes. Uh, madam. Mr. Mayor, what is the formula, formula of calculation being used to determine the amount being paid for each property? So, um, that was that is declared by the property owner. As to what they would accept. Correct. Yes. The. Um, when we presented an offer initially, it was a factor of the tax value with the understanding that houses held greater value than um, land. Because if your tax value is $20,000 and your um, home value is 75, you obviously can't sell for 20. So I think we use a, a factor of four and a half or five to calculate it in some instances, but not all. So, if it's uninhabitable, uh, we didn't do that. Um, if there was remediation, we didn't do that. But if there was a house where the, the family had to relocate, then we tried to, um, to use a fair market value to figure out replacement cost for moving the family to another location, which was determined by them. But typically, when we looked at the values, we used a factor of the tax map value. Does that answer your question? Yeah, I just wanted to have that um, beforehand. So these are actually options, um, and Martin can get you a copy of all the options. Mm -hmm. So there is, there's, that was from our calculation to figure out how much we needed to acquire the land, but then the realtor had to negotiate with the homeowner to see what they would sell for. So it's, it's all over the place. Some some commercial buildings we had got for ten thousand dollars. Some homes we got for seven thousand. Things like that. So if you would, um, if you don't, if you have those the options, options are in your package. Yeah. yeah. The oh, okay. And the tax maps. All right. So yeah, look at the options because that's yeah, I see it, but it does not tell me four and a half percent. No, 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 no. Yeah, that was when we went to to look at the value of the total property right. to come up with an, with. Um, with a dollar figure for a grant to apply for, we had to figure out what the value was without without um, appraising 50 parcels. So that was when we looked at like the value of our individual houses versus the tax value, we found that four or five generally worked to get us in the ballpark of market rate. But again, um, the individual homeowners negotiate that absent of that factor. That, those are two separate things. So we use that for our spitball map to figure out could we even afford to, to do the project. What is in the domain right now? What is it? What's the percentage? Of eminent for for this? No. No, 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 no not for this. Oh. I'm just asking council. Yes. Does he know? What the percentage for eminent domain? Well that, that again varies depending on what uh, piece of property we're talking about or where you're talking about um, exercising eminent domain. All right. Well, I'm confused by that question. Because in the domain, it, it varies, like it says, but we're up four and a half, and I wonder if we're going to climb to five, six, seven. That's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, if we would use the eminent domain? No. no. I'm confused by the eminent domain question. I'll explain it to you. Okay. After you. Okay. Coach, but, but we didn't have, but like I said, I see everything that's in the package. Right. But there was, I just want to know, was there a formula of calculation being used? And that was the first time that I heard 4.5% and, 
and the profit on the negotiated price. Yeah, so this is a traditional real estate exchange. We use the four and a half percent on our side to try and figure out what a good value was. But the the um, the homeowners that agreed to sell, um, they sold at different rates for different reasons. But yeah, eminent domain um, was not even a question. Right. So four and a half percent. That's the first time I heard of four and a half percent. So that's why I want to know. And that's not. Um, I don't want to make it sound like every property if you multiply. No, I understand that. Okay. That's why I asked the question. Yeah, so a lot of the um, a lot of the value of the homes, people that we had to replace, we tried to figure out what a residence the same size, same square footage would cost in the available market today. So that was a consideration as well. Um, okay, if there's nothing further on ordinance 40, 4318, uh, we'll call for a vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by nay. So did everybody else vote on that? <laughs> that hurt John. <laughs> Everybody's in favor of it, but we do have one one um, dissenting vote. Okay. So the opinion of the chair that first reading of ordinance 4318 passes. Um, item 11 on the agenda is first reading of ordinance 4319. If the clerk will publish. An ordinance to amend Hartsville City Code Chapter Historic Preservation Section 11-21 Design Review Guidelines for City's Historic District Subsection A, City's Historic District Subsection 1, Historic Properties by the addition of 100 and addition of 110 East Carolina Avenue Tax Map Number 0560602108, a portion of the former Southern Canyon Kitchen and Subsection B General Criteria. Okay, you've heard the reading of the presentation of the report. This time the chair will entertain any motions from the floor. Mr. Mayor, make a motion with pass ordinance 4319. Second. Is there any discussion on ordinance 4319? I'm real pleased that um, the Bailey Bill continues to, to roll through Hartsville. Um, that's historic property and, and giving a, a tax incentive to um, restore and, and revitalize those buildings. So. Okay, anything further? I'd just like to see the appraisal or the um, legal description attached. Do we know? No. Okay. I'll get that to you, Ms. Mike. Thank you. You know what the um, you know building we're talking about? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so by second reading, Madam Clerk, if you'll make sure that that is attached. I don't know that we would include the appraisal. Well, Do we have that? It was presented to um, planning. Yes. Okay. Well, if it's public record, then please, by all means, include it. Okay. I just think it would be best for us to know. Sure. Since you said it was attached, and unless I look it up myself, I don't know the frame of reference. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, but there's nothing further on ordinance 4319. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by nay. The ayes have it. Item 12 on our agenda is first reading of ordinance 4320. Adam Clerk. An ordinance to authorize the purchase of land at tax map parcel number 056-1101008 and 056-1101010 located at 313 Reservoir Street and property on Coker Avenue in Danny L. Bird and David C. Bird. Okay, you've heard first reading of ordinance 4320. As presented by the clerk, this time the chair entertaining motions to adopt. Make a motion to adopt ordinance 4320. Second. Okay, there's a motion and a second. Any discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by nay. The ayes have it. Um, item 13 on our agenda. First reading of ordinance 4321. An ordinance to authorize the purchase of land at tax map parcel number 056-1101-007 and 056-1101-008 located at 315 Chinaberry Drive and property on corner of Reservoir and Chinaberry from Shirley G. Anderson. Okay, you've heard the reading by title and presentation of the clerk. Uh, Chair will entertain any motions to adopt. Make a motion to adopt ordinance 4321. Okay, there's a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? 
Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those by nay. Nay. First reading of ordinance 4321 passes. Item 14 on the agenda. First reading of ordinance 4322. Clerk will publish. An ordinance to authorize the purchase of land at tax map parcel number 056 1101051, located at 311 Reservoir Street from the estate of Linda D. Byrne. Okay, you further reading by title and presentation of the clerk. Chair will entertain any motions to adopt. I make a motion with pass ordinance 4322. Okay, there's a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Madam. No contract on that one either. Attach? No. The, the prize is in the ordinance. There, there is no contract yet. Okay, just an authorization. It's just an authorization. Yeah. Um, it's a it's been ordered by probate, has it not? Um, yeah, it's it's in probate, but the probate board understands what's going on. It's got a PR representative can uh, uh, sign off on the document. Okay. All right. Is there anything further? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed by nay. Mm -hmm. Ordinance 43-22 passes first reading. Um, the chair will entertain a motion to enter executive session pursuant to the South Carolina Code Freedom of Information Act, se section 30-4-70, paragraph A, subparagraph 1 and 2, for the discussion of council committee appointments and vacancies on architectural review board, parks committee, and PD Regional Transportation Authority board, and for the receipt of legal advice involving matters protected by attorney-client privilege. Is there such a motion? So moved. Second. Um, is there any discussion? We're done all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed by nay. So ladies and gentlemen, before we adjourn to um, executive session, I just wanted to welcome back our former <coughs> council member. Juana, it is great to have you back. Thank you. Anything that you wanted to tell us about or add or? Well, I, I'm glad that there's been so much progression in Hartsville. I've been um, taking care of my mother for the last year. Um, she's doing well. Um, and for those of you who have kept in contact with me, thank you. But I'm ready to get back busy after January. Good. Well, it's good to see you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming. We stand in executive session.